What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a film look in HitFilm Express. So currently on the screen I have a video of the Statue of Liberty. It's a nice drone shot but it looks pretty boring. So from here we're going to come to the bottom left and select effects. From here we're going to come up to color correction and from here select brightness and contrast and drag and drop this on your clip and then select this arrow and now you can see we have brightness and contrast and we have full control. Generally I usually turn down the brightness and bump up the contrast. Now it's completely optional of course if your footage is already dark then up the brightness but you don't want to go too much because it can distort the video quite a lot. Likewise when you go down with brightness it can distort the video a lot as well. So my rule in general, so right now I want the brightness to be minus 10 because I think that's a good pick. And then for contrast, I want this to go up as well. Now I don't want to just play with the slider. This is my rule that for some reason I think it just always works. So for brightness we picked minus 10, that means for contrast I want just plus 10, positive 10. And you'll see that gives us a really nice effect. So if I take off the brightness and contrast, that's before that's after. You can see the colors are a lot more vibrant, the whole video looks a lot better. Now coming back to the effects and staying in the color correction tab, we're going to be coming to curves. Drag and drop this onto your video again and this time come up to controls, curves and here we can control the curve to how we want it. Now pretty much just like I show you in Vegas and Premiere Pro, every time I've shown a film effect, we want to get an S curve. Now this one is going to be a very slight S curve. So you can see the way I'm putting points out right now, um, I'm not actually going to tell you where to put them or how to put them because of course everyone's footage is different. So this does look a lot better with brightness and contrast but still the image is quite flat, especially the C. Now if I add the curves, bang, everything now looks a lot nicer. So moving on, we're going to come back to the effects and this time we're going to close out of the color correction tab and we're going to come to color grading. From here, we're going to select vignette and we're going to drag and drop this on. Now you can see the vignette is this black edges here. This is completely optional. Some people like it, some people don't. So if you don't like it, you can skip on to the next one. But from here, we're going to select the down arrow on vignette and as you'll see, we get full control of it. Now for me personally, the only thing I want to change is the strength. So this uh, blackness on the edges is quite harsh. I don't want it to be showing too much. So I'll have it very soft like that. So if I turn off the vignette, this is before, this is after. So you can see there is a difference right there. Now there's going to be one more thing I'm going to be adding. So we're going to minimize out of the color grading box. We're going to come over to generate. And from here, we're going to select letterbox. Simply drag and drop this on the video. And this is letterbox. So press the arrow on letterbox. And currently, this is how it is. Now, to be honest, for me, uh, this these bars are quite thick and they take up a lot of the screen. Now, you may like it. If you like it, of course, you can keep it. But if you want to customize it, then where it says aspect ratio, come to custom W and H. W meaning width, H meaning height. So select that. You can see it's gone off screen. All you need to do is bring in the width. And as you'll see, the black bars will be coming in. So just like that is good enough for me. Very, very thin black bars. I think that looks really cinematic. So if I play this through now, you can see just like that, we've created a very, very cinematic scene. And I'm gonna pause right here because here is a lot of color and you'll be able to tell the difference with all the effects we have added. So I'm gonna minimize these and I'm gonna take them off one by one. So first the letterbox, of course, um, this just makes it full screen and it hides the vignette at the top corner, which I think makes it look a lot nicer. Then of course we'll take off the vignette, we'll take off the curves, and we'll take off the brightness and contrast. As you can see, this by default is a very, very flat image, and you can make it look a lot better. So once again, brightness and contrast is added, straight away goes from a very flat image to a more vibrant image, then adding on curves, adds a bit more vibrance and a bit more darkness, which I think looks a lot better. Adding on the vignette edges, uh, the black shadows on the edges, which looks really nice. And of course, the final thing is the letterbox, which is the cinematic black bars, which every movie has. But that's how simple it is to create a cinematic look 
in Hitfilm Express. <laughs>